Good day, everybody, and welcome to another session on Counselor University. Today, we're going to be talking about the law of expectation because this is a basic law that drives what you become, what you achieve in life and in business and in your career. Um, recently, I was listening to a talk and they said a young man was approached by somebody and said, see, there's a building, I was just moved to give you this building. Come and see the building. Now, when the young man went to see the building, he made his step into the building. It was a massive building with a water fountain. And the first thing that came out of this young man's mouth was, can I afford the cost of paying the water bill in this house? What he tells us is that there are some of us, though we want things to improve in our life, but at the depth of our heart, we don't expect the wonderful things that we want to happen to happen to us. And this also brings us to those of us who are seeking to get wonderful jobs. Because every day we run interviews and we see these young men and young women who come for interviews. But most of them at the depth of their hearts by interacting from interacting with them, you realize that most of them don't expect to get the best jobs. For you to achieve greatness, for you to get the best job, for you to transform your business, the first thing you must understand is that this law of expectation is what will attract to you the kind of opportunities that you want out of life. Um, recently, God helped me to start to expect wonderful things to work for us at Counselor because, and it made that when I'm approaching a business deal or any opportunity, I have it at the depth of my mind that God wants to bless me with that opportunity. Which is why I believe that Counselor University has been growing in leaps and bounds. For you, what are the expectations you, you have? You have at the depth of your heart. So how do you get the law of expectation to work for you? Now, Tony Robbins gave a wonderful ex example with a cancer patient. He said there was a cancer patient that he wanted to, that came to him that was almost at the terminal stage. And he said to this woman, yes, I know your case looks hopeless, but one of the things I want you to start to do is start to listen to stories of people who have overcome cancer. Start to listen to motivation tapes of people who have gone through major challenges and overcome them. Listen to these, story, these uh, messages at least for about six hours every day. And he said that this woman started to listen to these stories over and over and over and over. At a stage, he even forgot about the advice he gave to her. And one day, about three months down the line, he got a call from this woman. I want to appreciate you that my, my cancer has gone into remission and very soon I will be discharged. I said, what happened? He said, because you told me to listen to this thing and I heard people whose cases were worse than mine and how they survived cancer, I said to believe at the depth of my heart that I too can have overcome cancer. And the, the more I listened to these messages, the more they got into my heart and the more I said to believe it and the more I believed it, the more my cancer went into remission. So the first thing is for you to start to listen to stories of people who have actually overcome what you want to achieve. The expectations you have, there are people who have achieved it. So you need to find a way of activating that with other people's story. The second thing you also need to do is to believe that the universe is designed specifically to help you achieve your expectation. If you don't believe that everything that happens around you, whether the good things and the bad things, are designed to keep you in alignment with the expectations you have of your life, it will be difficult for you to actually achieve any major things. Because if you don't have this, this belief that the universe is designed for you to achieve great things, for, you to, for your expectation to become your reality, you find out that if something negative happens, you say, oh, these people are trying to distract me. Oh, this is why I can't achieve something great in my life. But when you believe that everything that happens is okay, this thing is happening to realign me to achieving the expectations I have. And the next one is step out to actually in the directions of the expectations. Start to do things in the direction of the areas of your expectation. If you want to get a great job, for instance, start to study those kind of jobs. Let's say you want to become a, a great engineer. Start to study about great projects. Start to learn about them. Start to watch videos about them. And start to volunteer into, in companies that are doing great projects. So that that way, because you are lying, you are actually taking practical steps towards that direction, you find out that life will start to bring to you the things you want to achieve. So stop sitting down there waiting for a great job to come your way. Stop sitting down there waiting for a great business opportunity to come your way. 
Stop sitting down expecting great breakthrough in your business. Start to take some practical steps. And I believe when you start to do that, the law of expectation will be activated in your life. So, in conclusion, I want to invite those of you who are in Lagos to join our weekly um, business training and our employment training we have for unemployed graduates where we walk them through the steps of getting, preparing themselves for getting great jobs. If you want to attend, visit our website on www.counselluniversity.com or follow us on any of our social media platforms so that you can be updated on our next coming activities and you can join.